Okay. So, uh, this is rather unique. I'm hoping it'll be awesome. I have absolutely no clue. I have a lot of people ask me to do team games. And I normally say that low elo team games can be kind of a hit or miss situation. And I really like 1v1, so I prefer that. But we have a slightly over low the Legends team game here. We've got some players around 1,000 elo, 1,100 elo. And it's a 2v2, okay? These guys don't know I'm watching these guys. Also, playing with some of the new civilizations. We've got uh, Ashborn and Paul over here. So here in the red, we have the Gerharas. Uh, or is it Gerjaras? Now I'm confusing myself. I just at least mispronounced it one time. And they start with two Forge Bushes, new civilization. And their big bonus is that they're able to garrison their herdables inside of a mill. And it gives them some food income from that. They also can garrison fishing ships inside of their docks if they need to uh, for safety later on. And then teamed up with red, we have yellow or Paul playing as the Dravidians. Dravidians are going to be fantastic on water. Um, they have a really unique ship as well, which we could talk about later, maybe. Uh, but this ship, um, or sorry, this civilization gets plus 200 wood at the start of each age. and also receives plus five pop space when you build a dock. So what I'm thinking is this is going to be one of the better water civilizations. And there's also a unique water bonus here for red civilization. So with that said... These civilizations are new. We'll get to see how they play it out. They're obviously testing it. And then these other guys are not testing anything new. We've got Lapiz. Lapiz is playing as the Portuguese, a well-established solid water sieve. And then in the blue, we've got Vikings or Vagues. And again, a well-established water sieve. Now, I'm really hoping because the lowest ranked player here is just below 1,000 ELO. But you've got 1,100. You've got 1,200 in there. So I'm really hoping that these players know the importance of a dock. Okay, and it looks like yellow does, because yellow's gone four to wood. Guys, this is how you play water maps, okay? Pay attention. You go four or five to wood. I always recommend five for you guys. You make the house with your dockville, perfect. And then you make a dock. And then you make it right next to the shorefish, send your villager to the shorefish, fish away. Now red's torn, and in red's defense, the only eco bonus your sieve really has right now is that you can garrison your your sheep here. What's happening? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Did they bury someone under there alive and he's trying to come up? Whoa, it got faster. What it? Forgive me. Uh, this is more important than anything else. What is happening? What is that bug? I have no clue. Leaves are just flying up from the grass. And it doesn't seem to be associated with anything, so I don't know. But anyways, yeah, the only eco bonus you could really take advantage of right now would be to garrison this in here. Oh, it might be leftover from the berries. True. Also, see, like, something more is appearing right here. What is that? <gasps> oh, I thought it was quicksand. The goat was really scared. Okay, anyways, uh, what's green doing? Is green docking? Nope, green is not docking. Green might dock later, but showing some inexperience on water... What about blue? Also no dock. And also no mill. Oh no, there's the dock. Okay. So, I mean, in theory, we have the two most experienced water players on the same side. Uh, yellow a little unfortunate, not to find the fish. There you go. You've got some salmon yellow and use that wood and make more fish. Good work. So why does yellow have more eco? Because yellow has kept the villagers producing from the TC. And also because yellow as fish and that's kind of the whole point we are still going to see a dock from red islands is normally about water control red does not seem interested in garrisoning any of these inside the mill maybe just a couple will be left over it's probably the most complicated eco bonus in the game right now or i shouldn't say most complicated but trying to optimize the gurjara build order is is not easy uh, at a higher level, these things would already be in the mill, but then at the lower level, you struggle for food, so. And Red might not know, either. Red might be thinking about putting fishing ships inside of a dock or something. So, okay, uh, green now docking as well. And we'll see if these players end up going up to the next stage here shortly. Uh, definitely looks like the food count's going to be there for yellow with three fishing ships in this boar almost finishing. At higher levels, your population tends to look at around 23, 24, maybe 25 pop. 
We've got 27 pop right now for Paul, who again is beasting it. Is absolutely beasting it. Has already brought in almost 200 food there from that fish. Not to mention the villager on the shore fish has brought in 100. And there's also fishing ships over here. So it's not team islands. You're not connected to each other. And oh, poor Red. There's like no fish around. Sad times. <laughs> oh, that's such a unfortunate dock. Yeah, the neutral islands really screw up the fish positions on normal islands. There is a map called Team Islands. But for some reason, the devs allow islands for normal games. I guess it changes the game. But normally, you're not going to see islands in team games for that reason. And wow, they both click up at the same time. So unfortunate for Red, but Red finds some fish and is also back docking for maybe some more safe fish. This could be an absolute dud of a game. If Yellow uses the plus 200 wood and makes another dock and just floods Navy, this could be an absolute dud of a game because water maps are a lot about execution. You have to assume the execution. At least the possibilities are going to be there for Paul. Hmm. Okay. A couple houses here for red. Red also going to gold. Do you guys think that red and yellow are on voice chat together? If I had to guess, I would say yes. Based on their civ picks, they both picked new civilizations. Both civs have some bonuses, especially the Dravidians on water. What is yellow doing? Yellow's making more fish, which is not bad for yellow's economy. Yellow's got 700 food now. So maybe this is Fast Castle. Maybe he wants to go fast imp and make that new ship. Obviously gives the Vikings an opportunity to do some crazy things with their galleys. Blue's about to be futile. Has another dock coming out now. Now, guys, the weird berry bug continues, by the way. I believe the new ship, and I'm going to butcher the name. Someone could maybe type it in chat for me. I think it starts with a TH. Um... This new ship, and we're all learning here. Okay, don't be judgy. All right, don't be judgy. Don't be judgy. I think you can only make it an imp. Which, because I played on a water map with it, and, and I recall not being able to make one. And I don't think that is great for momentum here. <laughs> if you're trying to go fast Imperial, it's going to take some time. Therisidae. Is it Therisidae or Therisidae? I did have someone comment on a video that says, Hey, T90, I'm from India. Most of your pronunciations were good. We just appreciate you trying. Which was very nice. Thank you to that person. Oh, green going for a transport. Green is going to transport to the enemy. <laughs> we had someone accidentally find a neutral island earlier. Oh, green scouted with a fishing ship, though. That's awesome. So green should make any mistakes. Green also made the barracks at home which allows you to then make a stable or an archery range on the front right when you get there. Okay, Teresa Day. Is that how you say it? Like Teresa Day? Gotcha. Oh, we have fire galleys for yellow. I don't like the fact that a unique ship can only be made an imp. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the old days where you couldn't make turtle ships or longboats unless you had a castle up. It was the craziest thing. And a lot of you guys probably don't remember that. But I think 2017 is when that changed. But for like over a decade, you couldn't make longboats as Vikings or turtle ships as Koreans unless you had a castle up. So you would never see those things. And a castle is less barrier of entry, barrier of entry than going imp. So I think if they're worried about the ship being too strong, just make the ship a little weaker then, right? Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is a low elo legend if I've ever seen one. We are going to see infantry loaded up into the transport here. Meanwhile, the fishing ship goes down. That's kind of funny. Yellow will reach Castle Age. Blue also thinking about a landing of sorts because we see infantry armor. Um, does have docks along the back, though. Like, I think Blue's gonna make longboats. 
but it's a huge ship. Yeah, I'm just... I guess it's more of like a... Uh, it's kind of like a an imp ram on water where you just mix in a few to soak up some damage. It must be very strong if they want it hidden behind imp. But I still feel like... I've seen the unit and I tested it in the editor. I still feel like three or four ships would outgun it. I don't know. Numbers seem to be the most important thing on water. Okay, we have the War Galley upgrade, which will upgrade the fires and demos out here for Paul. Paul might try and boom up to Imp. We do have the second TC and also Gillnets. So Paul knows what's up as far as water maps are concerned. Gillnets for more efficient fishing. Mm. Here comes green. What does red see? Nothing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Red doesn't have a clue. Also, I bet you the villager gets stuck inside this gap at some point. It depends what direction the villager goes to build this house. If it goes here, that villager's going to get stuck. Yup, yup, yup. That villager... Oh, yeah, it still gets stuck, right? Depends how you place them, but I think that villager will be trapped in there. Okay, so green is here with another barracks. Might as well just transport the villager next time, but uh, does have some protection for that barracks, I suppose. Okay, here come longboats from blue, but the fire ships from Paul. And right now, blue doesn't even have bodkin arrow. And blue is going to mass more longboats, though. And longboats, very strong if you get that mass going. Red could maybe see green making a tower here as we see forward supplies! Supplies! Oh, that's true. The dock plus five population is a team bonus. That's a really nice team bonus. Yeah, Dravidians are going to be like a must in team games on water. That is just massive. Wait, so if that's a team bonus, does that mean... It only applies to your own docks, right? That means if yellow makes a dock, it doesn't give red more pop space. It just means that it affects everyone's docks for themselves on each team. Wow, red is, is transporting the Shivramsha riders. But I don't think red knows that green is over here. That is a pretty good tower spot there, red. You might want to do something about that. And there could be some concerns here, guys. If, if blue... Actually gets Bodkin Arrow, which is now coming in. And yellow doesn't pounce on this. That's the keys. You got to pounce on this. You got to stop them before they mass. You can see that being very strong. Wow, okay. There's a low elo TC if I've seen one right next to the other TC. And, oh, the riders have come over. There's only one villager here, of course. And she's going to die. As far as I know, these units are not that strong against melee. But when the melee is just simply feudal age units, they'll do just fine. Green, I think, had the right idea, but unfortunately, it has fallen flat. And it's just a very late castle age time from Green. Probably because of lack of fishing ships, but a very late castle age time. 64 economy for Paul right now. So Paul is the carry player right now. Mm, doesn't have a lot of navy now. It needs to make more fires. Maybe needs to see just a few farms to think about going up towards him. Also, lots of stone there for Paul. Yeah, I think green wants to castle drop. And I'm just curious if green's going to give up on that idea. Because green is still making spearmen here. If green gets pikemen, I'm fairly certain these units are, are not going to work out. So if I'm red, I would be on stone right now. And I would be ready to drop a castle defensively just in case something pops out of here. Um, blue making a move. As much as yellow's economy is really good, blue has the better unit right now. And this is where the concerns come in for Dravidians. There's a lot of longboats out there. And oh, the fish trap. No, painful. It's expensive. Yellow's struggling. You can tell he's getting overwhelmed. But here he comes. He's like, I'll give up on water so I can do something else that's great. And we are going to see what I believe is a castle drop for yellow. 
And I think he's going to try and escort this and drop it right on blue. By the way, the pikemen did arrive. And there's more villagers, too. And when I say villagers, there's villager. This tower might complete. Meanwhile, blue's feeling like a god killing all of yellow's fish. And here comes yellow. Guys, yellow just went for the neutral island. <laughs> yellow showed up the wrong island. I mean, maybe this is yellow's plan. But I don't know if you can even fit a castle here. Meanwhile, Green's tower is up, and Red is a little panicked, I think. Credit Green for the, some stubbornness, at least. And okay, it was intentional from Yellow to secure the extra gold, which is not a bad idea. But gold for what, exactly? Because this is a problem for you. This is actually a close game. This is a very close game. Red doesn't seem to really get... Red doesn't seem to know what to do about this problem. Red is very overwhelmed and continues to make horsemen against pikemen in a tower. And green, get more villagers, man. <laughs> green. <laughs> I mean, respect, my friend. <laughs> but setting more villagers, not just one villager. <laughs> and don't lose him. Okay, well, he's gonna... The villager's gonna go down. So I think... The key now for green is when you bring over more vills, make sure it's more than one. Because that'll at least get green to bring more forward here. Now, red's doing the right thing. Is You go to stone. This could have happened a little earlier. And then you just drop a castle here. Still has a very safe fish boom at the back. That is at least until blue shows up. And does blue notice this? Okay, blue notices that. That's a lot of fires. Paul got sick and tired a blue roaming around his, his fishing eco and made a bunch of fires. And this is where you need to get some demos out of your blue. But you have to micro long boats. Fire ships don't really need to be microed. And I think this is a situation where you want to run away, blue. Run away, get out of here, and meet up with the other group. You've got a transport here for blue. And this is why I was thinking, you know, maybe you want to drop a castle on blue because blue's going to drop a castle on you pretty soon. You can tell yellow just shift queued a bunch of ships because all the cube is there. I don't know why blue is making regular galleys, by the way. Maybe a hotkey issue. And green just deletes that castle. But if green doesn't finish a castle here, I really struggle to see how his team wins the game because yellow is punching back on water here. Okay. Does red see this at all? Okay, so green's going to lose the barracks. Green, just place it where you can't see it, please. <laughs> or at least wall your vills in. Green. <laughs> green, you've got nothing. You've got nothing. Like, come on. What do you think is going to... Okay, house wall. <laughs> okay, another house. Oh, quick wall. Pressure. Pressure. Oh, another house. Nope. Nope. That was that was painful. And now Green's like, yep, that's... Yep, okay. Okay, didn't work. Um, this is where, by the way, you don't tell your teammate this is happening. Okay? Don't communicate properly. Say you're doing fine. Okay? It's too embarrassing. You don't want that, and you don't want to demoralize your teammate. So, uh, it's better for team morale if you just lie. Okay? That's my tip to you. Just say you're fine. Research handcart. Make a castle at home. And uh, keep saying positive things. Only positive things. Very sad to me that blue doesn't have ballistics. You really would want to have ballistics. But guys, it is exciting to me that we might see the unique ship of the Dravidians. It's actually been a fairly solid little... Uh-oh. Oh, it's a trap! Oh, it's a trap! I was going to say it's been a fairly solid 1v1 on this side, hasn't it? But blue... This got caught in the wrong spot here. Refuses to add demos. Like, a few demos against these fires would be so good. And uh, I would say if this castle was up, you pull back to your castle. But this is just tough for you right now, Blue. That said, Yellow kind of forgot to chase a little bit. Yellow may be focusing on some of the important plans for the Imperial Age. Maybe wondering what the hotkey is for this new and improved ship, which is Teresa Day. Which, I think, it sounds good to say Teresa Day. So, I don't know if there's any Teresas out there, but I hope you're having a nice day. Uh, fishing ships going down. It's not the biggest deal at this point. You do have other forms of food eco. You benefited from that. But, man, Blue, you, you have uh, 
You next time you play this, add in some demos against the fires and trust me. That with ballistics and you'll be sitting pretty. All right, now I'm going to assume Dravidians get fast fire. I remember looking at their water tech tree and I think they have virtually everything. Will we see any of the unique ships here? Okay, we see dry dock, which isn't hugely helpful. Red, okay, red, <laughs> red is about to load camels up into transports. I'm excited to watch that. We've got fast fire, which makes sense because you've got fire ships. And the Teresa day! Let's go, Teresa! It's a good day! Here we go. These things are chonky, okay? You think fire ship's big? Watch this. Ready? Boing! Look at them go! I don't know how they move on the water. I guess it's the sails. This is the Teresa day. I think there's even an elite version, by the way. 250 HP, 9 attack. Again, is it strong enough? I mean, we have to see it in action. Is it strong enough where this thing can't be a castle age unit? But yes, it is the chonker of the sea. It is the elephant of the sea. It is the, it's the your mom of the sea. Oh, oh, oh got him. Um, and yellow, I mean, first, first day, for maybe second day, depending on where he's at, of the expansion, wants to see what this unit can do. So we're going to see a lot more of those. You would need to get bracer. Chemistry, it benefits from ranged upgrades. It really looks out... It kind of looks out of place. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to it yet. And it fi look at it fire those arrows. It's actually... It's mocking the longboat. Like, how dare you fire multiple arrows? What are your puny arrows? I fire skirmisher bolts. Blue is confident with micro at all the wrong times. Opponent's got this big scary ship you've never seen before. Opponent has fast fire ship and still no imp upgrades. And blue's just going in. Wow, these things are huge, dude. These things are huge. What's red up to? Okay, here comes red with the transports of camels. There's a lot of villagers in there too. Holy crap, there's more villagers than camels. It must be very uncomfortable in that ship. I imagine it doesn't smell very good. Elite longboat coming in now for blue. But green isn't a problem anymore. Remember, green failed, so blue is doing everything on its own. Kind of getting outplayed as well. And now we have the camel. And we have the, uh, the villager transport. And there's a castle drop right on blue. And this is great teamwork. Again, I, I have to believe that red and yellow are on Discord or something together. Two buddies playing the game. And not just one castle. Another castle. Which is going to be problematic for the player who's already dying or, or just having no success against this Dravidian Navy. Now, what I want to see is I want to see a lot of longboats against a lot of Teresa Day, and I want to see how that works. I don't think we're going to see that because I think Blue is overwhelmed, and I think Blue will not have the confidence. Now, blue is castle dropping yellow, interestingly enough, as yellow is going for elite cannon galleons. The yellow is pretty close to pop being pop-capped, but is not pop-capped yet. And is just happy with the position. Uh, here come the camels. Oh, big camel attack. So it deserves a camel noise. And I don't even think blue knew about that. And I think blue has, like, clicked over here or something... Something bad happened. I don't know what Blue's looking at, but there's the castle drop. There's the ships here. <laughs> there's the camels. Clearly, Blue is distracted, and Blue immediately resigns. Oh, and Green resigns as well. Oh, the pain. Teresa Day. Anyways, here's my first impressions on the ship, okay? I'm looking at their stats right now. They actually have an insane amount of pierce armor. So they have 11 pierce. Now I'm trying to think. Is that what a fire ship has? Fire ship's got nine. Hmm. 11 pierce armor. A galleon's what? Eight plus four? Is it eight plus four? I think it's a galleon's eight plus four. That's a lot of pierce armor. That is a lot of pierce armor. Okay, I if this pierce armor remains... 
I can understand why it's it's capped behind Imp. Because it is like a fire ship in terms of how much damage it takes, which is very little. It's got double the HP. Again, I have to double check if there's even an elite version. Can I look in the game real quick? And we're I'm learning, guys. I'm I'm still trying to figure things out and learn. Also, the game won't let me check the tech tree. Hello? 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 Okay, the devs are learning too. I can't check the tech tree. But anyways, that pierce armor is really what makes us strong. The attack is not that insane. I'm going to assume you need to make something like a fire ship or maybe even demos against this. Demos will feel a little awkward though because the demos can be sniped from range. So the, the good news is this is a unit that can only be produced in imp if you're up against it. The bad news, of course, if you're making it is you can't lose water before then. I think Dravidians have pretty good water bonuses, though. I think getting plus five population space from your dock is a lot more helpful in the early game than people think. The fact that that's a team bonus is really huge. And then getting plus 200 wood when you arrive to each age, if that bonus continues to be the case after many, many months of the sieves being out, um, it makes it one of the better water sieves. And guys, the background here, the reason we found this game is because I wanted to find any game that had islands with Dravidians. And I had to go all the way down to 1,000 ELO to find it. So thank you, Paul. Thank you, Ashborn. Thank you guys for, uh, for doing a good job here and testing out the civilizations. I feel a little bad for Green. Green did have commitment uh, in wanting to go for the landings, but didn't have enough military support there. And clearly, Green didn't understand the importance of fishing early and just other aspects of violence. Oh, there's no elite version. Okay, so that's good. I'm glad you clarified that because I did I said that like three times. Um, whew. All right. 1890, just finished a two-hour runestone 1v1. Finally able to catch some of the new DLC cast. Well, welcome. We just watched some ships. It was, uh, it was an eventful time. Paul, 107 kills, 65 units lost there. Economically, though, Paul was really far ahead, too. So well played to him. Well played to everybody.